And here we are, more than 48 hours since Hurricane Barrel ripped through Houston. And tonight, KHOU 11 continues to fight for answers and hold the powers that be accountable. Right now, the current outage numbers show more than 1.2 million CenterPoint customers are still in the dark. We have team coverage for you this evening on how these outages are impacting you and a KHOU 11 interview with one of the heads of CenterPoint. But up first, frustrations are growing tonight after CenterPoint released this restoration map. It claims to show areas with restored power. But tonight, many of you say it is just not right. Thousands of you posting on our Facebook page saying the map is not accurate. Grace White is live near Bel Air with a closer look. Grace. Mia, this is getting really confusing for people. Here's the problem. We're on the edge of Bel Air. If you're on one street, people have power. But if you walk just down another block right here, people don't. But this whole neighborhood is green on Centerpoint's new map. It's been very hot and sweaty and, you know, it's a little bit frustrating because everybody around us has power. Corey Burns is going on day three without power. Last night, they released this map that shows your neighborhood is is all green. So mm -hmm. the power should be on, but it's not. It should, yeah, but it's not. And his calls to center point. Well, they haven't gotten it very far. It seems like they got a little monopoly going on and there's nobody else we can go to. We also met this mom on Woodlawn Place. It's been really hard. I have two little kids at home, so I think that they're just overheated and stressed out. Most aggravating, she says, is Centerpoint not giving any kind of estimate of when power will be restored. Another company, not Centerpoint, mm -hmm. but another company that does smaller neighborhoods, they are doing by neighborhood. They're giving people specific days to expect your power on no later than 712, no later than 14. Oh, but you're nice. not getting that from Centerpoint. We don't have an estimate. Centerpoint told us the streets marked green may still have individual outages, but these neighbors are worried it will be harder to get repair crews back when there's so many other parts of town where they're still assessing damage. They have a huge responsibility to provide power and it would be good if, you know, some lawmakers, you know, push them to improve because what if a uh, category two, three, four comes through? A little background for you on this center point map. They had one in May, but it went down during the derecho event. They told us they're working on a new redesign, but what it won't be ready until the end of this month. Mia, back to you. Hearing from those neighbors, so many of them very relatable to each and every one of us. Grace White tonight, thank you.